All right, so it's the day after we posted that video of us trying to figure out what the clunk was on DJ's car. People are saying that the upper control arm is hitting the uh, like the inside of the fender and the the strut tower and all that uh, up inside the car. And I thought, eh, it's not low enough for that. Like I've seen that on ISs and GSs that are like really low. The car's not that low, but you I checked anyway. Checked anyway, and it looks like that might be true. But we're gonna really put it to the test with the tried and true more skids peanut butter method. <laughs> all right, let's we'll give you a rundown how this shit works. In there. You can, I don't know if you can see, uh, but it's right there. So you can see my uh, upper control arm slathered in peanut butter. And then up there is where we suspect it's been hitting. In fact, you can kind of see the shape right there of my uh, upper control arm imprinted into my fender. So that's, or I guess it's not the fender, it's a strut tower. So we're gonna drive around. Well, yes, yeah, gonna peanut butter that, I'm gonna peanut butter the other side, and we're gonna drive around and see if any peanut butter is stuck to the top once we're done. And if so, then that means that could be very well my clunk. I, for a long time, have been a preacher of uh, the church of keeping napkins in your glove box. You never know when you're gonna have to shit or like your girlfriend's gonna need something or whatever. Not that I have one of those, but you know what I mean. So every time I eat fast food, like go through the drive-thru or whatever, which is often, uh, you just take those napkins out, you put them, I know you never use them, so you take them out and you put them in your glove box. And then eventually you've got a glove box overflowing with napkins and uh, any problem you run into, you're set. A long, long time ago, when uh, Quentin got his front bash bar, when we were doing the 1JZ swap, uh, Street Faction sent us a big banner, and uh, we ended up not liking it because it was very pink and didn't really fit the motif of the car. So uh, we now have this white banner, but the Street Faction lettering. So Quentin's gonna combine the two. I'll help you. Center that bitch. Uh, I think to the right, just a little bit. Quinn, we're vinyl application experts now. What is this? Hurry up. Sweet. So we're gonna drive up to the gas station, see if the, well, I know we're gonna be able to get a clunk or two. Yeah. And we're gonna come back here and check for the peanut butter. My chiropractor saw my tattoo and was like talking about Simpsons with me. And then his brother got like a loot crate that had that in it and he took it and gave it to me, so. He was thinking of you, dude? He was, man. He was pretty clunking. We're back and we're about to check we on the clunk. I don't see no peanut butter. Debunked! No peanut butter. There is no peanut butter. Oh, so that's not it. Fuck! Alright, well that didn't work. And now we're gonna go try to do the steering rack on the 240. We're gonna go down to the same shop that we did DJ's bushings in, so we're about to head down there. It's my new whip. I haven't been under this thing in a long time. I know. The exhaust is holding in. Not too low. Interesting. Oh yeah, that's a spunkin' junk. <laughs> oh yeah. Look at that <laughs> shit. Holy god. I think it, it might be leaking from right there though. In that fitting. That would be cool. Hmm. Yeah, it looks like it is. The fat bead coming off of it. Focus, bitch. So we're looking around. The power steering problem looks like it's coming from this loose fitting. Quentin found another problem. I have been hearing a bit of a clunk, but I've kind of just disregarded it. But I wish I could do that. That is missing a nut. Oh yeah, that, that could be it. Honestly, I would say um, tighten that shit up, clean up all of this fluid, and then yeah, just like leave it overnight and see how much it leaks. All right, so we tightened up that fitting. It was a real bitch. Cause just imagine trying to fit a fucking wrench in there. That's not happening. Quentin's just cleaned all that shit up. <laughs> uh, we're gonna start it up and wiggle it around and see if it leaks anymore. Yeah. 
So what do we do? I don't know. Wow, it actually looks pretty easy on this car. To swap that? Just the hard parts is getting these bolts. Actually, it's not even hard. We decided we're just gonna do the rack because it's fucked anyway, as you can tell already. Um, we're gonna do the rack, so we have to drop tie rods. Uh, go get the tie rod puller from your house. Yep. That'll probably be the hardest part. Hope if we're lucky. Uh, so drop tie rod, four bolts for these, and then uh, and then undo the fittings and this kind of steering shaft. I realize that I'm pointing with my finger and not pointing the camera where I'm looking. All right. So step for one. No. Put the tie rod off. Put the tie rod off. Come back to that. God, even the box broke in half. <laughs> Not that, dude. <laughs> He's going. In theory, your alignment should be fine after this. Now she's free to move without the cabin. That bitch a wiggle. Oh, what a wiggle. <laughs> Smells good. These bitches is bitches. <laughs> yeah, they are. Especially helps to be covered in fucking ATF. <laughs> yeah. That's what makes it fun and worth it. Oh, you gotta replace the flabber gasket. Mm. We're having a good bit of trouble getting the steering rack out because believe it or not, we kind of forgot that there's a whole new engine in there and so all the spacing and clearances are all different. So we're having trouble getting it out. So right now we're trying to take out this one bolt that's in the way and we can't really reach that bolt very well. So it's a big bitch. Hey! Uh, oh, there it is. The hunter and his kill. <laughs> yeah, it turns out when uh, you put a new engine and transmission in a car, things change a little bit. Yeah, we were, we were like, how, how did they do this in the first place? They had to have dropped the subframe or something. So we were thinking maybe you have to drop the subframe to get the steering rack in or if you're like replacing it. But there's no fucking way. Well, it's out and the camera's almost dead. So we're gonna go charge that for a little minute. All right, so we just got back. We had to charge the camera up. We brought the charger down here so we can just film while we're charging. Plan is to put the new power steering rack up there into the subframe, hook it all up so we can pull the tie rods off because we need to get the extended tie rods on from the old rack anyways. There they are, Villain's angle kit. really good. I like all that. <laughs> hmm? Yeah, so that one was just missing a screw. Yep. Okay. Give it the old ham jangler. There we go. <laughs> Oh, now it's time to get that bitch back in there. And it was a bitch to get out, so it should be fun. We got those lined, lined up and finger tight up. So now all I gotta do is get the rest of the rack all situated and then tighten the shit out of those. So the rack is now in. The rack is in, the rack and pinion are connected. Yes. And now we have to connect the Excessive fitting. It, then, it was a real bitch. It was the bitchinest bitch that ever bitched. Yeah. Look at Quinn, he's covered in shit. I don't know if we've ever done a job that was harder than that. And remember getting the diff out the first time? God, that sucked. That sucked pretty bad. But I feel like we could do that so easy now. Yeah, now we could. Yeah, we have done it. I'd rather put another 1JZ inside. 
<laughs> so yeah, so it's one fitting and we got to tighten up the other fitting all the way, I think. And then uh, four bolts and then just tie rod shit and boots for the rest of the night, which is peasy. Finally getting to the end of this job. Which means I can finally clunk my way home. <laughs> Putting the wheelie dans back on. Gotta clean up the shop. Recirculate some ATF through this biatch. We are ready to put fluid in. Got the car lowered down a little bit. Dude, I probably smell just like this bottle. I probably smell like beef. Yeah, I think she's done. I don't think we're dripping it at all either. Thanks to old Troy for letting us use the shop. Uh, thanks to everybody giving me suggestions on Instagram and YouTube and stuff about how to fix my clunk. Uh, I'm sure we'll get there pretty soon. It's probably tie rod and like sir. What the fuck? No, I think that's what the problem was. Those are slugs. Those are dead slugs in that bottle of ATM. Oh my fucking God, that's so nasty. That is why that fluid is milky. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Dude, that's kind of metal though. I guess that's why you put a cap on your shit, you know? So slugs don't crawl in and die in there. Yes. That's <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> that's the weirdest shit ever. Dude, what the fuck? <laughs>